If you're looking to relive the old classic games from the Nintendo Game Boy era, you'll find plenty of GBA emulators for Windows and Android. In this guide, we are using the Visual Boy Advance M VBA M emulator and going over some of the features offered by emulators that make them worth your while. If you're new to emulators, you don't need to worry about a complex installation with the Visual Boy Advance emulator. It's a portable software package and does not require installation. Download the zip file for the Visual Boy Advance M emulator from its official website, link in the description. Extract the zip file. Once extracted, click on the Visual Boy Advance M AXE to launch the emulator. How to set up your gamepad or keyboard for VBA M. Now that you've successfully started Visual Boy Advance emulator on your PC, it's time to pair and map your controller or keyboard to it. Once you launch the Visual Boy Advance emulator, you will be greeted by a blank home screen. Navigate to Options, Input, Configure. A pop-up window will appear where you can set up different controls for up to four players. It's compatible with both keyboards and gamepads. To make any changes to the default controls or create your own, click on the field displayed in front of the input commands and press the button you want to bind it to. For example, up equals W, down equals S, etc. Or you can click on the user's default checkbox to make these your default controls. How to load GBA games on your Visual Boy Advance emulator. Visual Boy Advance M is just an emulator and does not come with any titles. For the purpose of this review, we are using some Game Boy Advanced ROMs that have been backed up. On your Visual Boy Advance M home screen, navigate to the file section and you'll find three options. Open, OpenGB and OpenGBC. Open opens a Game Boy Advance ROM. OpenGB opens a Game Boy Color ROM. OpenGBC opens a Game Boy Classic ROM. Navigate to the location of your game's ROM file, select it and click Open to launch the game. Also note that the game will initially run in a windowed screen and you will have to maximize the screen manually. You can exit full screen mode by pressing escape. Modern GBA emulator features. The most exciting part when using emulators is that they allow you to optimize the gameplay according to your preferences and overcome hardware limitations from the original Game Boy. Here are a few of the features of Visual Boy Advance M. Pixel filters. Pixel filters, also called screen filters, are graphic enhancers that let you use visual presets to tinker with the in-game graphics. The Visual Boy Advance M emulator offers a handful of these, each drastically changing the feel and mood of the game. You can access these settings by going to Options Video Change Pixel Filter, or by pressing Ctrl G to cycle between all the filters. There are over 20 visual filters available for the Visual Boy Advance M emulator, and each provides a slightly different colour mood. Colour correction. If you owned the original Game Boy Advance handheld, you'll know that it lacked a screen backlight, which made it kind of hard to see the games, especially in dimly lit areas. To fix this issue, game developers for the GBA purposefully made the games bright. It worked for the handheld, but that extra brightness is noticeable when playing on a PC. For this reason, modern emulators like Visual Boy Advance M, MGBA, etc. provide an option to tinker with the in-game colour correction. You can enable these settings in your Visual Boy Advance M emulator by going to Options, Game Boy, Configure, Custom Colors. Here you can select the background and sprite colors to make the game look better. Game Saved States. With the original Game Boy Advance, you can only save the games at specific spots within the game. In comparison, emulators will allow you to save the game at any point. It's an advantageous feature, as older games had significantly rare checkpoints, and one would often have to retry certain parts multiple times to get through them. To save the game state in Visual Boy Advance M, you need to go to File, Save, Game, and select a slot to save the game. You can save the instance in either an empty slot by overwriting previous saves, or by pressing Shift F1, F2, F3, whatever, to quickly save your game state. To revisit that instance, go to File, Load Game to start up from where you left off. To load a particular slot, you can press F1, F2, F3, and so on. Fast forward. Sometimes games have long and tedious sections, and it may start to feel repetitive to go through them again and again, especially if you can't click to end them. If you're stuck in a situation or running low on time but still want to enjoy your favourite GBA game, you can use the fast forward feature of the Visual Boy Advance M emulator. To do that, go to Options Speed slash Turbo and select the speed at which you wish to run the game. Alternatively, go to Emulation and Enable Turbo Mode to enter a preset turbo speed. Enabling Cheats Even though cheats are mostly frowned upon, they allow you to push the boundaries in certain games and give them a different feel, like, you know, finishing. 
Fortunately, modern game emulators cherish this feature and support many original Nintendo cheats for their GBA games. You will also find the option to add cheats in the Visual Boy Advance M emulator. To add cheats to selected games, download a set of cheats from a classic gaming website like GameGenie.com and place them in the same folder as the emulator. In your Visual Boy Advance M emulator, navigate to Tools, Cheats, List Cheats to see a complete list of all your cheats. VSync and Auto Skip Frames If you're facing lag, frame rate drop and performance issues while running emulators on your PC, you can find a few settings embedded in them to optimise your gameplay. Modern emulators like Visual Boy Advance M offer Vertical Synchronisation, or VSync, which is a graphic setting that synchronises your screen's refresh rate with the game's frame rate. It can reduce screen tearing and frame rate spikes for a smooth experience. If you're not satisfied with the performance, you can also enable Auto Frame Skip, It allows the weak hardware to run games at playable speed by skipping a few frames every now and then. If you're experiencing choppy gameplay, you can enable them in your emulator. To access these settings in Visual Boy Advance M, head to the Emulations tab and navigate to VSync and Auto Skip Frames. There we are. Hopefully you will be able to install Visual Boy Advance M and enjoy playing all your favourite games. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your support. But that's all from me. I will see you next time.